your full of homework today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! What I do know is if he doesn't make it, I get to lie down on the way to school. Anybody know if Nebulon's going to school today? Who's Nebulon? <laughs> uh, oh, let's roll. <laughs> what in the name of... Yes! And Nebulon makes it by the skin of his antenna! Yay! Yeah. Dorks, could we let go, please? We're wasting valuable pre-class mirror time. Show us! Sit down, Nebulon. We're gonna be late. <sighs> Thanks for waiting, Mr. Doppler. That was close! Hey, they got a bike. Looks like a new kid's moving in. Some kid's moving to Intrepidville? Poor dumb sucker. The indigenous peoples of Zlornap 7 leave no part of the slain Zizix beast unused. This ribcage was used by the Moon Egg tribe as a pasta strainer <coughs> during... What's that? Um, yes, hello. My name is Marvel Bugglethweek. I'm new. He is like a total nerd. That is so hilarious and weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you bone bags, pipe down. District HQ says to make new students feel welcome. So stop snickering about what a freak you think Larval is, and someone volunteer to show the kid around the school. Anyone? <laughs> Nebula! Yes, Mrs. Bolt? Seems to me you could use a little extra responsibility, comic book boy. Larval? Meet Lloyd Nebulon. He'll be your Luna Vista tour buddy for the week. Nebulon's a tour buddy! <laughs> oh, man. Why me? If I heard Mrs. Bolt right, it was because you were reading comics in class. Hey, guys. Lloyd, my man. There you are. Uh, <laughs> where's your youthful ward, Larval? You mean Slime Boy? I accidentally lost him in the crowd when the bell rang. Lloyd? Ah! You dropped this back there in the hall. I shouted for you to stop, but I guess you didn't hear. Hey, my lucky pencil! I once got a bee using this baby. Thanks, Larval. That was real nice. Aw, uh, the least I could do. I mean, heck, you volunteered to show me around and all. Yeah, volunteered. Hey, these are the guys. Eddie, Kurt, and Douglas. The buddies of my tour buddy are my tour buddy buddies. <laughs> yeah, that's a real humdinger. Excuse us, we're just gonna go over here. Quick, Lloyd, toss the pencil across the room. When Nerval goes to fetch it, we'll ditch him for good. Nah, I don't want to be a total huge jerk. I'm stuck with the kid for a week. I might as well try to make the best of it. Okay, Larval, if I'm gonna be your tour buddy, I guess we might as well get started. Righteous Amigo! Luna Vista lesson number one. Never say righteous, Amigo. Oh, check. Luna Vista lesson two. Lunch. There are some things every kid has to know about the cafeteria food. The pulp gourd pie is decent, the tendril dogs are edible, but steer clear of the potatoes al zork. Way too slimy. Uh, no offense. Not taken, but I won't actually be eating lunch. <laughs> what did he say? Um, did you have a big breakfast or something? N no, no, it's just that I'm gonna wait till I get home from school to eat, that's all. Out with it, Larvie. What are you hiding? Mm, you guys will make fun of me. Come on, Larval. You can level with me. I am your tour buddy. I'll tell you if you promise not to let it get around school. It's kind of embarrassing. Ooh, sounds juicy. Is there somewhere private we could go? Here we go, Larval. The holographic janitor closet. Gee, it doesn't seem terribly private. Hang on to your exoskeleton, Larvie. Show him the wall, Lloyd. Whoa! Cool, huh? Follow me. Holographic bricks. Won't hurt a bit. Let me adjust this thingy here. There, plenty of privacy. The 
This is one heck of a utility closet. The janitors have a strong union. Okay, now what's this big lunch mystery? Kurt, could you hand me the tray? This is how I eat. <laughs> Larval, that was the most disgusting thing I have ever witnessed. I'm real sorry. Sorry nothing? That was awesome! You might be the coolest kid I ever met! You mean you're not gonna laugh and point at me and call me Bile Boy or Spewasaurus? Certainly not! It's fascinating! Dissolving one's meal with sputum! It's pure biology in action! So, you guys are gonna keep my secret, right? Why would we share something that cool with those jerks out there? Larval, your secret's safe with us. We'll take scene on. Luna Vista lesson number three. Gym class. Getting picked last is just a fact of life. Get used to it. I always smuggle in a little light reading to pass the time. We'll take... Lou. Lesson four. Library etiquette. In here, you either keep your voice down or incur the wrath of the librarian droid. Aw, oh, come on, Lou. Don't scare the poor kid. That old batch sensors are so shy, she wouldn't know if the kid was... <laughs> <laughs> Lesson five. Girls, they're pretty, they're mysterious, and they'll have nothing to do with us. <laughs> he said what? <laughs> That's Brittany, queen of all girls. Be warned, she has been known to reduce boys to blithering idiots. Hey, blithering. He knows. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys thanks. These first couple of days at Luna Vista have been a heck of a lot more fun than I expected them to be. Hey, man, for you and me both. I owe it all to you, Lloyd. Thanks, pal. See you guys. Bye. Bye. You know, Lloyd, I had my doubts, but you were right. That larval's A-OK. -okay. Yeah, he's swell, Lloyd. Hey, what can I say? I have a knack for knowing people. I took one look at larval and said to myself, that kid is going to be fun to have around. <laughs> Hey, Edinator, you seen the Larvinator today? Simmer down, you skin tubes. I have a note from the office. Seems Larval's gonna be out sick for a few days. I need a volunteer to take his homework to him. Oh, oh, like, I'll do it, Mrs. Bolt. Oh, no, wait, I forgot. I'd rather, like, totally die. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Bolt, ma'am, my friends and I would be honored to take Larval as books. Yep. Of course. Why not? They're all tour buddies. <laughs> <laughs> Let them laugh. Okay, guys, Larval's place should be right about here. Yes, boys? Um, Mr. Bugglethwaite, we're friends of Larval's from school. We brought him his homework. And some chicken soup. How nice. Come in, boys, come in. Here, let me take those. Larval would be so glad to have them. He's worried about falling behind. Mr. Bugglethwaite, is Larval here? I mean, can we see him? Yeah, he's not contagious, is he? Not at all, boys. You can all see him. He's right over there. <gasps> Sweet mother of Mufton! Our friend Larval is in a cocoon! I couldn't sleep all weekend! Every time I closed my eyes, I saw Larval's squished up face in that freaky cocoon! I know, man. That was totally weird! But Mr. Bugglethwaite assured us that building a cocoon during pupation is completely natural for larval species. Yeah, it can't be that weird. I found a card for it at the card store. <clears throat> it's nice to know that you have spun your very own cocoon. Here's wishing you a happy molt and hope you'll get well soon. To a wonderful grandson? There wasn't a big selection. Good morning, you sentient sausage casings. I hope you had a relaxing weekend filled with homework. Uh, and... Excuse me, Mrs. Bolt. Sorry I'm late. Oh, why, that's no problem at all. Seeing as how I have no idea who the heck you are. Well, ma'am, um, I'm Marvel. But that's, like, impossible. Larval is fun me to look at, and this boy is fun to look at. I don't have any urge to make up dorky names about this boy. Believe it or not, it's true. This boy is Larval Bugglethwaite. <gasps> Larval, what the heck happened to you? Well, you guys saw my cocoon, right? Boy, did we? Well, inside that thing I was pupating. You know, changing into my next, more mature life stage. It's an insectoid thing. It's really kind of embarrassing. Are you nuts? 
It's every guy's dream. I'd give anything to roll out of bed one morning and bam, I'm tall, good looking, and suddenly able to fly. They're not all slimy and disgusting anymore. Well, I don't see what difference it makes. I'm still the same old larval. Come on, we're gonna be late for gym class. Yeah, better hurry. Wouldn't want to miss getting picked last. Men, today we're gonna play us some saucer ball. And as usual, team captains will be Rodney Glaxer and, uh, hmm. Son, I'm not sure I've had the pleasure. Oh, I'm Marvel, sir. Marvel Bugglethwaite? Bugglethwaite, you say? You're quite a strapping specimen, son. You're our other team captain. M m m me sir? Yes, you. You're magnificent. Better than the rest. Now, hustle on over there, son. We don't have all day. Uh, okay. I pick Chuck. Yes! Hmm. Well, I pick Lloyd. <gasps> what? What did he say? I'm confused. Move it, Lloyd. You got picked first. Monday, the 57th of Floontober. I'm going to remember this date forever. I cannot believe this date. I mean, first, I get picked first. With me, Kurt, and Dougie right behind you. And then our team won. And what could conservatively be termed a butt-kicking blowout? Yeah, that gym class was actually fun. Hey, guys. Oh, my gosh, Larva. Uh, we, uh... Didn't realize this was your table, man. My table? Yeah, we'll just go eat over there. We can squeeze in with some lesser kids. Move it, Lou. Oh, and Larva? Yeah? You're an inspiration to all of us. Did you see those kids clear out? I'd say our lessons about how this place runs are really paying off. Um, excuse me, newly mutated boy? Y you mean me? Duh, I don't see anyone else around here, do you? Ouch. Me and my friends would like to invite you to join us at our table for light lunch and dance committee gossip. Wow, Brittany, that'd be amazing. Uh, can my friends join us, too? We, like, barely have room for you. But I suppose there might be room at the next table over or whatever. Yes! The next table over! Oh, we may catch snippets of actual conversation! Lloyd, I sure am glad I talked you into making friends with that kid. He's turning out to be our one-way ticket to Excellentville! Hey, what's up? Hey, 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 Hi there. It was real nice of you guys to ask us to join you. It was nice of you to realize it was nice of us. Hey, so, bro, hey, come join me. I don't oh, see oh, any oh, open oh, seats. Oh, Do you? Oh, nah, but that's okay. We can each stand it up. The point is, we made it. Wow, this moment is exactly like I dreamed it would be. Almost. Love, well, your team beat me and Ronnie's team bad in gym, dude. And you even picked Nebulon and his loser friends. I know, I know. I heard about it. Um, suddenly I'm ready to be back at our usual table. Way ahead of you, man. Durf! Now our table's gone! Oh, boy. I'm gonna have to be a table again, aren't I, guys? If you don't mind, Kurt. This ain't fair. Larval was our pal. We taught him everything he knows. Larval's still our pal, Eddie. You'll see. Ooh. Guys, watch the cutlery. Team Captain, Rodney, Larval, uh, let's hustle it up. Ah, good old gym class. Saucer ball's never been my sport, but it's kind of growing on me. Hey, being a first-round draft choice does wonders for a guy's attitude. It's fun being picked by my name instead of, we'll take the big blue kid. Let's see, I pick Chuck. Huh? Um, all right. Good pick, Larval, my man. Good pick. Right, guys? Good pick. <laughs> I'll take Jake. Let's see. I pick... Uh, hey, Coach. Um, Chuck and I don't really need any more guys. We can pretty much beat any team of Rodney's, just the two of us. Just the two of you? Now that's a competitor. Those of you not picked by Rodney today will run laps for the rest of the period. Aww. And then when Chuck suggested... You know, not picking anyone else. Well, I just figured it'd be a good chance for you guys to rest up. I mean, I know Douglas has been itching to read in gym again. Huh. And I had no idea Antonia would make you guys run laps. Honest. I certainly hope not. Laps make me lightheaded. To someone with this much head, that's never good. Forget it, guys. What we need is a big old radium shape from Zeptars. Yes, the food court. Perfect antidote to gym class. Ooh, sorry, guys, but I'll have to take a rain check. Brittany asked me over to help her with her homework this afternoon. What? If I was drinking it's something, I'd spit it all over myself right now. I don't know what it is, but when she asked me to do something, I kind of want to do it. Well, I can yeah, see that. Of course. Yeah, Understandable. So. Check you guys later. Question, fellows. Why would Brittany, a straight A student, need help with homework? Maybe she doesn't really need his help, but she just wants to be with him, and she's using homework as an excuse to get together. <phone rings> ah, you're right. That's stupid. 
heck is Larval? I dropped my pencil in the hall, bent down to pick it up, and when I stood up, I lost him in the crowd. It happens. I'm looking for the guy, too. I gotta know what happened yesterday with Brittany! Hey, hey, how you doing? Uh, I, I wasn't talking about you or prying into your personal business or nothing. Whatever. Look, I just thought you should know that Larvel has, like, totally outgrown you people. Larvel? Oh, that's the hip new name I made out of Larvel. It's cooler. Oh. In fact, Larvel's, like, so cool and popular now that it really doesn't make sense for him to, you know, mingle with you four anymore. So, um, bug off, okay? What? No way! Yeah! We don't take orders from you! Look, dork noise, I'm just passing along a message from Larvel. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's not doing me any good being seen with you either. I don't believe it for a moment! Larvel wouldn't diss us like that! Guys, we gotta talk to him. He's right over there! Larvel, there you are! We've been looking all over for you. Uh, well, I'm kind of busy right now, guys. Uh, how about if we hook up later? Busy waiting in line? Look, Larvel, we need to... Uh, Actually, I'm going by Larvel now. Yeah, okay, Larvel. Brittany just came by and told us to stay away from you. And she said it came from you. Isn't that like the craziest thing you ever heard? Isn't it? <sighs> Look, guys, here's the thing. I kind of did tell Brittany to say something like that to you. What? But that's well, just... You have to understand. A kid has an image to maintain. I can't be mingling with Brittany at lunch and then hanging out with guys like you. This can't be happening. Hey, it's nothing personal. Uh, excuse me, okay? Brittany's waiting. Did what I think just happened really happen? Shockingly enough, yes! We've been dumped! Boy, boy! Look at him over there, hooting it up with Brittany and them. Oh, disgust me. Even more than his eating habits, which were never as cool as I pretended they were. The shallowness of the popular crowd never ceases to astonish. Mere days ago, they wouldn't give Larvel the time of day. And now they give him the time of day anytime he asks him. It ain't fair, I tell you. We put ourselves out for that creepy insect. And this is how he repays us? Oh, I wish we could cut that guy down to size. Hey, check it out. Larvel may be hanging out with a whole new crowd, but it looks like he still eats the same old way. I suppose his new friends are less understanding of his quirks than we. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Guys, maybe it's time Larvel's new pals found out who he really is. You're not thinking. Why not? This I gotta see. Hey, Brittany! What is it, nephew dork? Just thought you might like to get to know your new friend a little better. I give you the real Larvel Buggle. Wait. <laughs> Huh? Bugglethwaite's eating his own spew! No, I... I don't... It's not the way it looks! Uh, uh, I am so sure! Bile boy! 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 Yeah! Lord, you got him, man! You got him good! Yeah. Real good. Hey, any of you guys seen Larval around? Uh-uh. Nope. Nor have I. I'm worried about him. I mean, he's missed five days of school, including a test. Psst, Brittany, have you seen Larvel lately? Who's Larvel? All right, people, looks like we've got some seating changes to make. I just got word that our friend Larvel won't be returning to school. So, Xenon, I want you to take his old seat. Inertia, won't be returning? What have I done? Come in, it's open. Mr. Bugglethwaite? That's me. I'm looking for Larvel, sir. Larvel's gone. Gone? Oh no, he can't be. I, I really need to apologize to him. Apologize? For what? See, I pulled a really bad prank on him a few days ago. And well, I guess he was pretty upset. I haven't seen him since. Actually, Lloyd, that's not the reason I left school. You left school? I... I don't... It's me, Lloyd. I used to be Larvel. I've undergone another metamorphosis. I'm a regular old adult now, and I'm back to using the name Larvel. Larvel seems so... immature. Man, you insect guys grow up quick. We sure do. Speedy metabolism, fast maturity, all that. Our lifespan is limited, but when you realize it means only a few weeks of middle school, well... It's definitely worth the trade-off. So, I guess I made my apology to the right guy after all. And I accepted. <laughs> that was one excellent prank. And now, I'd like to apologize, too. For what? I'm older now, Lloyd, and a bit wiser. When I look back at those days, I can see things in a different light. 
I was a real jerk to you guys, ditching you for the popular kids the way I did. It was, well, a perfidious thing to do. Perwadious? Um, <laughs> crummy, lousy, lame. Oh, yeah. At the time, it seemed like I had no choice but to do whatever it took to click with Brittany and the others. Suddenly, the most popular kids in school were talking to me, asking me what I thought and felt. It was thrilling, almost intoxicating. That's not an excuse, mind you, just a reason. A pretty good reason. Not really. So I guess we both had some growing up to do, huh? Looks like you did it a little quicker than me. Oh, I don't know about that. You were mature enough to come apologize. That's pretty impressive. You think so? Really? That shows real character. When you're ready to join the workforce, look me up. Wow, thanks. Hey, what did you grow up to be anyway? Oh, I'm in mergers and acquisitions, specializing in biotech. Sounds kind of boring. It is. Be glad you've got a few years of being a kid left to go. I just have one question. Oh, what's that? Well, when you went to Britney's after school that one time, did you two... I mean, were you... Oh, sorry, Lloyd. I'm an old man now. My memory just isn't what it used to be. Oh, 